Keep it the beat with Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle Episode Blaze Blue. I mean, last left off, we uh we had Rachel on our team. We fought against Lene and Waldstein, and we kicked their asses to the curb. And Rachel taught us to hold on to this key so that's what we're gonna do. So now like Rog is moving on. every few steps. Oh jeez, she could have at least told me where the goal is. Yeah, I don't really know that, do we? Hey, you plan on following me forever? Following me? Ah, you got me. You're pretty sharp, ain't you? Oh, is this my boy? Is this my maid? It is! It's Gordo! You're having such an interesting conversation. Oh, he's my I best character from Under Night Info. x late. Oh, I fucking love him. Super cool dude. I'm just... Oh, God. I don't God. know who you are or him. where you're from, but what do you want? Could it be... The Keystone, this? Gordo. Don't make me fight you, buddy. Ah, I do so love this you. This is it, huh? You're a lucky one. It'd make things simple if you could just give it to me, but that's not gonna happen. Sorry, uh, no dice, dude. <laughs> this place is interesting, but I don't intend to spend the rest of my life here, you know? No, of course not. You got cooler, much better things to do. Which puts me in a bit of a predicament. I'd rather not have to play rough with people from other worlds. And you're also kind-hearted. See, just see just why this guy's just the best. Wait a minute. Other worlds? What, you didn't pick up on that? This place is filled with people from several different worlds. And sharp as attack. Hell, I doubt you and I are from the same one. Seriously? What makes you so sure? What makes you- uh, well... Not gonna lie. Similarities between Gordo and Ragnar are starting to come together a teensy bit. They're very personality-like, sort of similar. So, actually, mm, no, man. Eh, maybe. Maybe I'm just looking at them and thinking mm, their hair is kind of similar. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being crazy. Call it intuition. You've got an unfamiliar sort of power to you. You're clearly not an ordinary human, but you're not an inbirth either. No, he's a no. People in Blaze Blue are altered humans, if I if I recall. I think that's what they're technically called. An inbirth. Don't go mocking inburbs. Inburbs are awesome. You fucking kidding me? They get super awesome shit to do, and they're just teenagers, most of them, except Gordo. Haven't heard the term, <laughs> and huh? Few others. Well, in that case, what do you call your powers? Blaze blue. Uh, <laughs> That's what I call it. Armagus, the Azure. Drive. Oh, yeah, drive. drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seems like it's more than just a difference in vocabulary. Hope I'll get a chance to see those skills in action. Doesn't sound like you're playing dumb. <laughs> now things are getting really complicated. Not really, dude. You're just kind of a small attention span. I'll say. But the people from the other worlds aren't what's bothering me. Then what's bothering you, my sweet purple coated friend? What's that voice. There's something shady about her. I get the feeling that holding a tournament here isn't her main goal. Uh, yeah. Which totally means not. she's up to something. And using the tournament as a front. Yeah. If you know all that, why were you following me? That blonde girl oh. you were talking to earlier seemed way more informed than I am. Yeah, you and Rachel should have a good little chat. Given how casually you were talking to her, I figured you might know some stuff too. I just chose the more approachable of the two of you. <laughs> uh, you chose wrong, dude. She's way more approachable. I see. Well, you chose wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. Wish I could help, but I don't know anything. And she's... <sighs> Rachel's always like that. She tells people what to do, but doesn't give them the reasons why until the very end. What a bitch! Oh. Are you telling me she can't be trusted? Well... Oh, shit! Decision making. Uh... Well... I mean, she does have a plan. She, it's not like she just sits by twiddling her thumbs. She, she just doesn't like dealing with lower life forms, as she puts it. She's got a plan. No, she definitely has a way plan. home. That's... Just the way she is. I see. She's probably the most knowledgeable Which in this entire it game. To to talk. <laughs> Something wrong? What? No. Just thought I sensed bloodlust. Bloodlust? Bloodlust? Must be your imagination. Whoa, crap! Okay, I take that back. Thanks. Oh, hey, Ruby! Failed. Stay and over. Blink! It's Sweet! Not over yet. Who are these girls? <laughs> they attacked us. Hi, how do you do? How do you do? Oh, and uh, this is Blake. 
Nice to meet you. Oh, leave it to Ruby to just do short little introductories when she attacked us. And I'm also really liking how they're following season one and sort of season two of Ruby, because that's kind of where they were the best. In my hey, opinion. Ruby, I still love Ruby. I'm still I'm not gonna stop over. watching it, but it's they're much better in season one and two, and I'm glad they did that. But introductions are important. You've got to make sure your relationships start out on the right foot. <laughs> and it's super amazing that's the original voice actresses. That's Lindsay Jones. Depends on what kind of relationship you want to have, really. And I can't remember Blake's voice actress's name. <laughs> so tell me, what kind of relationship were you looking for when you attacked us out of nowhere? <laughs> the not good kind. I think they made that clear enough. They weren't playing around with that attack. <laughs> Nobody would do something like that if they weren't looking for a fight. Very true. Whoa! <gasps> hey, Blake, look! Check it out! The guy in the red coat has a really cool weapon! <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Oh, <laughs> the awesome. guy in purple too. Hey, hey! Oh, her weapon flirt. Well, um, what the what the worst? I can't think of the word. Wow, oh, this her is weapon obsession. Great. I can't wait to see what kinds of tricks they do. Oh my god. Anyway, let's tag battle. Two on two, right now. Oh, super silly. I love her so much. <laughs> I just really want to see those weapons in action, please. <laughs> you know what I'm noticing? Ruby's got a quite a chest there. Not, uh, that ain't you normal. You have the keystone, don't you? Give it to us now. I'm wondering why. Looks like our next I mean, I'm not complaining, but... These two lovely girls, and they're going up against two big, grumpy men. Well... Let's see how these physical differences play out. Excuse me, I find that discriminating against the physical and the grumpy. Every eye in the stadium is glued to these contenders, so... Let the match begin! Stop shoving us into random matches already! Besides, if you're talking physicality here, um, Ruby's pretty damn good for her age. Just let her go. She's kicked lots of ass. If she cared about our complaints, we'd never have to fight. I'm not exactly on your side, but we can be partners for now. Yeah! I'm playing as Gordo, Fine. baby. Just don't drag me down, black scythe bastard. Oh, man! That hurts! But it's also kind of a cool name. Black scythe not bastard. I'm a fan of that nickname. I don't know, it's not that bad. I'm alright for it. I'm Ragna. Let's do this. Alright, Blood Edge and Black Scythe Bastard. I'm down for it. Alright, but I am so going as Gordo! Let's fucking do this! Oh, yes, my boy Gordo. The thing is, though, I'm wondering if his control mechanics are the same. Oh, nope, they're not. Okay. Oh, yeah, Grim Reaper! Here we go. Oh yeah, his little bzz, finger zap thing. I fucking love that. Oh shit, get him, Ragnar. Dude, it's just, it's just the coolest. Goodbye, Ruby. Blake's turn. Come on now, girl. Hear the wrath of the devour. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Come on. I keep fucking, I keep fucking up his moves. I don't know his move set. God. And one time, girly. Oh no. Oh 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 oh. Oh, that's it. That's the whole thing. I'm gonna get you now. Yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> oh man, Gordo. He's fucking dope. I love him. Satisfied now. You're damn right it was cool. Gordo is the coolest. No, he did not make blood. No, I, I... This girl's an odd one. <laughs> yeah, right. Ruby, let's fall back for now. Aw, uh, but I wanted to talk a little more. Oh, goodness. Hey, you guys! If you're gonna be my enemy, then I won't hold back. We'll remember that. But we're totally gonna win next time. And oh, I'm really? Gonna, I'm gonna make you show me everything your weapon can do. All oh, your adorable threats, Ruby. When I kick your ass, I'm gonna make you show me what all your weapons can do. <laughs> oh, God. And they're Super gone. funny. That girl needs to calm down. <laughs> I think I'll be on my way too. It's been a fun little chat, but I can't hang around here forever. Oh, but you sure, buddy? You, you can't tag along with me on my Besides, awesome adventure to protect the Keystone? To do. You weren't Besides, looking to take it either. Keystone, You're a cool I don't dude. I'm gonna run into much trouble. If we run into each other again, let's trade some information. Sounds good to me. I'm totally down, dude. Just don't get your ass kicked before then. Likewise. Watch your back. Okay, bye, Gordo. I love you. Oh, he's gone. 
The scenery changed again. It did indeed. But uh, that's about all the time I got for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment if you want to play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later.